very much. Coming to you live from Lily's. Uh, now it's our pleasure. Let's have a nice round of a pleasant, uh, nice round of applause for Joe Gergen, ladies and gentlemen. Joe, uh, the name of the book is The First Lady of Olympic Track. Uh, talk about your inspiration and what motivated you to write uh, the book about this uh, amazing woman. Uh, well, Harry, it's pretty much, pretty much accidental. My, uh, my oldest daughter was teaching school in Massachusetts, and uh, she got joined by a member of the faculty who was the granddaughter of Betty Robinson. Um, so she saw her, brought her Olympic medals into school to show the kids, and she asked what it was, and she said, it's my grandmother's Olympic medals. Then she asked her about it, et cetera, et cetera. Found out that this, her grandmother, was Betty Robinson, was the first woman to win an Olympic track medal in the world in 1928. It was the first time women were allowed to run track and field, and, and she was a 16-year-old high school kid who had run four beats in her entire life when she won this event. So it's, it's pretty remarkable. I, I, you know, I asked the, the people involved, her daughter and her son, Betty's, uh, no one had ever done anything about it. They said, well, people talked about making a book, talked about doing a movie, nothing ever came of it. So we were just hoping somebody would come along and do it. That's great. Joe, in your, re in your, in Joe, in your research, what are some of the uh, fascinating uh, topics that you discovered uh, that really made for great stories, uh, great anecdotes that really made this book special? Well, the first thing about it probably was the time she, you know, she had, it was 1928, the head of the Olympic Committee that year was General Douglas MacArthur. He had just come from being superintendent of West Point, and he was headed to the Philippines when this was over, but he had a year's off, basically, from the Army. And the Army wanted him to run the committee so they'd get uh, publicity for it. So MacArthur was the first character. He gave her a nickname, Artemis, when she won the gold medal. Um, then the other people on the team were Johnny Weissmuller, Buster Crabb, who became friends for life, and you know, Buster Crick, you know, now you're talking about Tarzan and Buck Rogers, so that's a pretty good new start with. Um, she had also, the ship they sailed on to go to Amsterdam, they spent 42 days on the water. They lived on the hotel in, in the harbor of Amsterdam. Um, Maybe Earhart had just come in on that ship from, from uh, Europe, where she had been the first woman to cross the Atlantic. She was just a passenger on the plane, it was four years before her uh, transatlantic voyage. But, her own, but there's pretty remarkable people that she was surrounded by, not even realizing it at the time. Absolutely, and uh, you talked about a, another uh, woman's track star who um, got shot later in her life, and that was a fascinating story. Let's touch upon that, which you talked about yesterday at the library. Well, that would have been Stella Walsh. Um, in 1931, uh, Betty, uh, Betty was, I'm sorry, in 1930, Betty was in preparing for the 32 Olympics in Los Angeles. And she, she still hadn't been beaten. She was still the fastest woman around. And Stella Walsh beat her in a 100-yard 100, 100 dash in the AU Championships in Dallas. Stella Walsh went on to win the Olympics in 32 after Betty had been in a uh, plane accident and uh, really was unable to run for several years. So Stella Walsh won the 32 Olympics for Poland. She was going to, she was going to become, take out naturalization papers for the U.S., but she lost her job. The only job available to her was as a recreation official. Um, that would have ruined her amateur standing. So P Poland, where she was born, her native country, offered her a job if she'd run for Poland in the 32 Olympics. Well, she won the 32 Olympics for Poland. Later on in life, um, she competed for many years thereafter. Um, but, in 19, uh, but when she, um, 36, she ran against Helen Stevens in the, uh, the US in the 36 Olympics in Berlin. At that point, a Polish interviewer who saw her lose to Helen Stevens said, Helen Stevens must be a man to have beaten her. So he, he complained and they had the big to do about whether Helen Stevens was a man or not. Turns out she wasn't, but Stella Walsh was because when she got shot accidentally and died in Cleveland in 19, I don't remember the exact year, but she was close to 80 years old, they found out in the autopsy that she was the man all along. And yet she got those gold medals as a woman. What a fascinating story. And chances are, if she hadn't been shot in a tragedy, nobody would, nobody would have ever known. Right. That's correct. Uh, you know, it was a, uh, They didn't take the medals away. There was a talk about it. And, and uh, Betty and, and Helen Stevens, who were good friends, said, really was it. She, she was raised as a woman. She lived her whole life. There was no point in trying to do that. What a great story. Joe, for people that want to uh, purchase this book, uh, how can they obtain um, the first lady of Olympic track, written by uh, Long Beach's own Joe Gergen? How can people uh, uh, buy this uh, great book? Uh, it's online, uh, Howie. It's uh, on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, basically any any .com that runs books, uh, book sales, and they'll have it. All right.
Excellent. We invited Joe back uh, next week when we broadcast from the Grand Dell when 114-year-old uh, Goldie Steinberg will be there, the oldest living person in the history of Long Beach who resides at the Grand Dell. And she's lovely, and that's next week at the Grand Dell, which is a great show. Long Beach Jazz Band will be there, and we love broadcasting for the seniors. It's a great show, and Joe will be there because we, we want to sell, we want to see Joe sell a lot of these great books. First Lady of Olympic Track, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Gergen. <laughs> And Joe's going to meet with our media, social media director, so we can really pump this book up on social media. And now we've gone from one Joe author 